So let's talk about Juniper's 321 architecture. So first, three layers, that's the old network. Those three layers are access, aggregation, and core switches. And the first step in 321 is to collapse down to two layers. So that's where we collapse the aggregation and core together. And what this does is it improves application performance, it lowers operational complexity, and it reduces your total cost of ownership. And when you look at application performance improvements, at the heart of it is virtual chassis technology. This is something that creates a new network fabric across multiple racks of servers in the data center and, gives, and connects them together with a single logical switch. So that pool of compute resources can be virtualized. And as a result, as they serve federated applications, they perform better. As you go to move virtual machines from one physical server to another, it's going to move faster, as much as 10 times faster based on customer data that we've seen. And ultimately, we can collapse the network down to a single logical layer in the data center with Project Stratus, a simple, easy to virtualize fabric for potentially thousands of servers, whereas virtual chassis today can serve hundreds, essentially going from pools to oceans. We announced the EX4500 switch and the EX8200-40XS line card for the EX8200 chassis family. So both of these products use silicon that Juniper developed, new ASICs, and both run Juno software. Let's talk about the EX4500 a little bit more though. This is a product that has 48 auto-sensing 10 1 gigabit Ethernet ports and would be used at the top of the rack in a data center uh, for data center access. And this is typical where people are using rack, uh, rack servers and they have a very high density requirement within the rack. The EX8200 uh, 40XS line card can be used in the 8200 chassis with all of the existing line cards. And when you put that into the 8216 chassis, you can have 640 ports of 10 gigabit Ethernet in a single chassis. This is used typically at the end of a row where what's in the racks of the row are blade, blade centers or blade servers uh, that don't have as high a density per rack, but across a row of racks, you have a very high density that you demand and the chassis solves that problem. So for customers looking to converge fiber channel storage networks onto a single Ethernet network, both this new EX4500 switch and this, 80, this uh, 8200 line card address those requirements. Both of these products with the silicon they're using and the Juno software support will be able to uh, support converged enhanced Ethernet and data center bridging standards. These are necessary to run fiber channel over Ethernet. Uh, by supporting these standards, we'll be able to have the full eight queues of, tra of uh, the eight queues needed to deliver lossless connectivity for storage traffic over an Ethernet network. 